Hi, welcome back. Today my sound might be a bit funny because uh, I didn't go through the sound processor. I'm just going to like do it raw with my handphone because uh, this is a very very heavy game. This is about uh, easily more than 10 kilos. And uh, it's a bit heavy to actually do this uh, on table. Um, basically, I'm going to split this into uh, two sections. First, I'm going to uh, show you the unboxing of the components that I actually have uh, uh, for this game. So uh, let me not uh, block the game. And uh, this is actually a uh, Dungeon Universalist. Um, this actually um, is a fantasy board game in a way with uh, thousands of options and uh, just this box alone, uh, you know, not including the Quest Book 2 and things like that. Uh, they has advertised more than 200 hours of gameplay. And um, this is published by uh, Loaded Dragon Games. Which I think, I'm not sure if they publish anything else, but you know, Dungeon University is uh, one of their flagship staff uh, and they are very focused on it, you know, so they have come up with um, second printing. So uh, what I'm, you're seeing here is the second printing. It doesn't include um, a lot of things like what they have in the first printing, such as the Arata cards and stuff like that. They really um, you know, get all the cards right and everything. And um, what I've really done uh, is that for the unboxing, I have really like take out some of the components. Uh, you know, as you can see, there are, there are a lot of uh, books here and uh, standees. Uh, so this kind of reminds you of a uh, uh, Dungeon Dragon Five Edition, Fifth Edition, and you know, it's like there's a lot of stuff. So, so in a way, you're not wrong. This is as close as the Dungeon Dragon you can get. This is actually um, it's a game system to put it uh, more precisely. It's not just a board game that you know you can just like finish the ten uh, scenario campaign and you know, you're done with. But it's it's more of a really a game system with uh, plenty of options and there's lots of things you can do and um, there are, you can actually create, them, create more scenarios. I'm sure there are other people who create scenarios where you can share and you know you can experience each other's uh, you know creations. Um, so uh, what I actually have gotten uh, is the Dungeon Universalist um, core box which is this is the core box uh, you know as crazy as it looks it's, uh, it's very thick as you can see you know that's how that's how thick it is. Uh, that's about uh, Three inch, yeah, that's about three inch. That's half your uh, no subway sandwich. Uh, is that that tall? And then it's like you know, there's plenty of stuff inside, which we'll see soon enough. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about uh two optional components which uh doesn't come with the standard pledge. So I've added these two uh components. Um, I think this is actually in. I'm not sure, but uh, this is comes in a separate box. So this is the mystery cards and legendary encounters. Um could be optional i'm not too sure but this doesn't come in the core box this is definitely optional this is the um oh my god how do you pronounce this uh this is a uh, perfect i'm not sure but basically this is all the intrigue and uh betrayal stuff so you know like one of your fellow adventurers might have other uh motive and you know they it might be non a uh, not full co-op thing with the addition of this you know he might actually have some other ideas like you no know, stealing all the treasures and running away very much like you know what happened in the uh, Munchkin situation and stuff like that, and um, there's also one more other things that actually does should not be in the core book because uh, I've actually ordered an uh, additional for it. This is the mystery tool. Uh, it doesn't come with this cover, so I'm gonna talk to you about the cover when I'm going to the. But basically, the mystery tool uh, contains all the uh, you know all this additional um stuff you know the monsters that you know doesn't come with it yeah. they are just fractions I and mean, not even like individual monsters so they are like amazon they are witch hunters they are like you know a uh, horse lords you no know, dragoners and so on so oh when the saw dinosaurs and prehistoric hammer oh my goodness prehistoric animals and dinosaurs so you know it's like it's going to be plenty of fun here you know if you just this book this is pretty much like you know the book of monsters inside uh, you know dungeon dragon which i always like uh, to just read them but you know has totally nothing to do with the game if they don't come out and um this campaign uh and quest book 2 i think also did not come with the uh, with the core box i think this is an additional uh, content so uh those are all the optional contents the rest should be in the box and um what i'm gonna do is that uh i'm gonna open the box up now and then uh while we i tell you what why don't i I open the optional boxes because there's a lot easier so i have done some uh, pre-opening so it's like a uh, kind of a cheat because uh but you know it's like since you're going to just cut it open and so basically for this um uh prefidel i don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it uh basically it's, uh, include intrigue and betrayal in your dungeon universalist game and there's a deck you know um 
You must play cooperative, competitive mode. Uh, based on rulebook page 98. By the way, the rulebook is 125 pages. So I uh, know this is uh, really a very deep game system. That's not for the faint heart. And uh, it's, it's my first Kickstarter, one of my first. So uh, all this, uh, you know, dry uh, dry gels doesn't come with the uh, game itself. So there are two decks here. Um, you know, um, I'm sure it's not even much of a spoiler because you know, like there's thousands of cards here that you will never even run through the same cards. So do not assign this card to any hero. Keep it in your hand until you declare you wish to use it. You can use this card as soon as a hero opens a chest, there will be no treasure. Instead, the treasure will turn to Mimic with Fearful Jaw. Oh man, this is really a take that. My hand. You imagine all the gold that the chest could hold and you can almost hear the pleasant tingling of the coins in your hand. But it all suddenly turns into a nightmare. So basically, you know, uh, sabotage a friend who is like opening a chest and you know, making it turn into a Mimic. Uh, if you're not sure what a Mimic is, basically a Mimic is actually a monster look like a chest. With very long tongues, yes. Then uh, we have another one that's here that says, uh, no, there's no crime to steal from a thief. Your mates have looted all the fallen enemies, but you have taken advantage of his goodwill to get the part you think is yours. So same thing, do not sign. Uh, you can use this card as soon as... Uh, so basically this is like stealing from your friends. You know, it's like, oh well. So I guess that, that gives you a good uh, taste of what betrayal and intrigue can be like in uh you know even in the fantasy realms so this is the other uh, deck which i have uh, not not opened up so why don't i open it right now uh i only have one hand so uh this has to be done a bit uh, i don't think i there's any way i can you know, keep this cover because the way it's designed uh i'll open this up from the top to show you uh, hopefully not breaking the boxes um this might be a bit challenging one hand. I'm gonna put down the, the phone here. So um, while well, continue talking to you guys, uh, sorry, there'll be like a blank moment for like uh, three seconds. Okay, so there is three seconds. And then uh, you have uh, two big decks of cards here. So uh, you know, if your copy doesn't come with two big decks of cards, uh, you know, it might be something wrong. It's not supposed to be empty. There's lots of cards here, you know, look at this. So, uh, you know, in, I could like cut it out and show you guys uh, what's inside, you know, which I'm definitely going to do because, you know, like uh, that's someone commented on one of my other videos that that's unpacking, uh, unboxing. I mean, I'll be like reviewing everything inside. So uh, I will do that. But, you know, like there's plenty of cards in this bo in this game to uh, unbox. So let's take a look. One of these is like the Demon Warrior. So you can see all the stats. Uh, you can see that they have uh, all the equipments that he comes with. Uh, he has uh, Busted Swords, his Claws. And then I you know the various damages, he got improvised weapons and stuff. You know, uh, seems fairly complex. As you can see that there's a lot of symbols, there's a... I don't know what these numbers are, but you know... It's, uh, you know, typically a very, very deep RPG as you can see. And uh, you know, we have a uh, mystery cards guidelines. So I suppose this is like the, 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 front, the front card. And then you know, this probably like, you know, somewhere in the middle. And then it's like, yeah, it's probably uh, arranged this way. So uh, I open up the two small boxes here, which I already gonna I'm gonna like put on one side before I show you the big box, which I need to free my hand to do so. So anyway, uh, I know they are running a new Kickstarter right now uh, for the third printing, and uh, it comes with a new challenge mode. So um, if you're interested, I will include a link below. Uh, I know to tell you more about it. But before that, so let me show you all the booklets that I have uh, here. So before the booklets. Uh, at first, I have no idea what these are. Then I suddenly realized that they are they have tabs on top, so they are card dividers, obviously. And uh, this site is in English. Um, this site is in something else that's not English, which I don't know why is. Sorry for my ignorance, but you know they have. Uh, so it's a very very uh, ingenious design, as in they have have it both sides. And then I have three sheets of this. I hope there's uh, it looks like there's two sheets for the uh, bigger cards. Uh, total of uh, eight dividers. Uh, and I can tell this is uh, this is heroes, yes. And uh, we have our uh, nine cards on one more other sheet is for the smaller cards, uh, which includes uh oh wait the other side, yeah. This is uh, all the equipments, the uh, special objects, armor, weapons, and so on. So you know three sheets. If uh, I hope I hope that's uh, correct. And uh, 
the various booklets okay there's a very small booklet which is called the special quest book for heroes so basically in this book uh there's actually uh for 10 of the heroes here um uh, their individual uh special quests and uh, i think it's kind of uh you know it's a little bit of, uh, like the echo in the past for tender grill you know like where there's background stories uh background crest uh same thing with Gloomhaven as well right you know Gloomhaven, there's some prequels that you know like where you can play the special stories about each of the individual characters so i guess this is this is that uh for dungeon universalist so this is uh the first campaign and quest book so this is campaign and quest book one i heard there's uh, about 40 scenarios here if i'm not wrong yep so we have uh no, 40 here uh we have a very nice map okay Okay, so uh, I must say that th this this plastic sheet here uh, doesn't come with the thing. Uh, I have a, because this is one of my first game, and I think I'm gonna keep this game for a very long time. So uh, actually, I kind of like sleeve it. So this comes in um, in a pack like this, you know. Uh, this is for A4 size, obviously. So uh, there's no sticking uh, onto the book itself. So it's basically uh, you slot the sleeve in. Can you see? There's a half halfway here. Yeah. So. And then uh, you know the other side is also the same thing and then you just get to you know seal this part up uh, onto the onto the um, this uh, protective sheet itself so then you stick nothing onto the book and you can easily still remove it after the this without uh, and it, it acts to uh, protect this book uh, obviously so uh, i hope he's doing his job and uh you know i hope i don't really need too much of him to do this job because i'm gonna try to keep them in uh, very good conditions so campaign and quest uh, 2, this is uh I think this is optional. Uh someone in the comment can do it, you know, can correct me if I'm not wrong. So I think this does, actually does not come with the uh, original core campaign. We could be uh, because this is a second printing in 1.2, uh, so that's why we have a quest book 2. And if you are backing the Kickstarter right now, the there'll probably be uh, the new challenge and then you know that will be like the quest book 3 and so on. So Beastry 2 is, uh, like I mentioned, this is an additional uh, book that I bought that uh, comes with uh, additional monsters and stuff, uh, you know, to add to your adventures. And uh, this looks, uh, this is this is very thick, look at this, this is very thick. Okay, so this is not a book, at first I thought this is a book. So if you open up this, uh, you know, uh, you will have all your dividers here, uh, originally. So a uh, very nice way to protect the dividers, uh, you know, and you open it up. Wow, lots of text. Yes, plenty of text. So this is exactly what it is. This is the 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 what they call the dungeon master screen in the you know five E. You know, it's like so you get you get to put it here. You know, it's like all your quick ref quick references, but no, but it's plenty of references here. You know, it's like I don't know. And this, uh, you know, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> but uh, I guess I uh, you know every game there's a lot now. Uh, the the more there is, the more realistic it gets. So this is not by no means a very light game. So um, look at our world. Our is basically uh, you know the same one as you have on the box, you know, on the box cover. Yeah, I mean it's upside down, but you know this is a better version of it. Minotaur, you know, the guy with the shield protecting the you know the paladin with the sword and the thief trying to sneak out on the Minotaur. Yeah, uh, there, there's some guy who's late for the party. I don't know why, but uh, you know it's like yeah, well nice. Okay, so uh, I have also not opened this big stack. Uh, there's going to be plenty of uh, standees. I think 318 of them, uh, if I'm not wrong. Um, and there's uh, plenty of uh, maps. This is like a modifier to the map. So you know you have a map tiles, and then maybe you have this uh, broken, uh, this horse, right? So this horse is going to be on the map tile. So there's a horse there. So these are like, like, are like uh, objects added to the map tiles. And there are map tiles in here also, which are, I'll open up and then... Uh, let me open this up and then uh, I'll run through with you guys. Uh, wait, I'll need to cut it. So uh, let me just free my hand. So map tiles uh, for this edition is uh, actually included in my patch. So for the new versions, uh, they have actually kind of uh, removed the necessity of this um, because there's actually an app that can uh, you know show you the, the thing in, uh, in the app itself. You may not actually need the map tiles. And um, but it's still available as an optional purchase if you so choose to want it. So uh, I don't know if I'm I'm gonna need to count this because I'm not sure if I'm missing any of them. But uh, you know, so we have um, we have boats and all these things. So these are like the like I mentioned all the so these are the map tiles. You know, look at the map tiles, the details of it. You know, we have uh, like uh, this is broken shoe here. You know, it's like 
some some uh, banners, uh, flat banners, uh, you know, left by previous heroes. Uh, they are bloodstained, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we have a little pot, uh, we have some deserts. So there, there are plenty of, uh, you know, like nice, very, very nice and detailed uh, dungeons map. So this is the dungeon crawler, obviously. Um, you know, lots of dungeons kind of thing. But there's also some outdoors you can see right just now. We have uh, some desert grounds. Uh, you know, we have staircase. This, will look, this looks almost 3D to me, right? So you're like walking down the stairs and everything. Uh, the magic circle. So you can see that it's very, very detailed. Uh, and you know, having this quality with this thickness, uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's about 19 euro dollars for the uh, map house, I think, and 19 for the uh, standees. I think it's, it's a good buy. I mean, even if you're not using this for uh, Dungeon Universalist, uh, you know, it looks like it's a good uh, set backdrop for your you know, Dungeon and Dragons and uh, other role playing sessions. You know, uh, Folklore the Affliction also has something like this, but theirs is so thin, it's like paper. I mean, how I wish they make it thicker, but you know, uh, we could we could improvise with some of this map, maybe, you know, for that. You gotta make a scenarios for, you know, uh, Folklore the Affliction using these maps, which are pretty cool as well, you know. So they are generic enough, there's nothing here that's like specific to Dungeon Universe you know, that, you know, you can't use it. In fact, you know, it's like this kind of even reminds you of, uh, what's that game? Uh, Mansion of Madness. I've said Mansion of Madness, you need to have uh, the app support that map. Okay, so, uh, so we have something special here, which is actually, um, this is the counter. So this is the, I think these counters is uh, for the uh, the bad guys, if I'm not wrong. Uh, or is it? I remember there was one track uh, where you have reserve points, where the bad guys can use them to, I know, trigger trap, trigger monsters. And you have another one to track the, the achievement of the players, which is actually like uh, XP and so on. So we have a, uh, we even have a boat here, you know, so it's really nice. Uh, oh, and I don't know why we have this, uh, you know, Deadly Fall to Air Beast and, you know, this is, uh, this provided by a chain, you know, I, I sure hope I didn't want to be stuck in this uh, situation. Sounds like we have to roll for dexterity. This is the other one. So I think this is more like it, the, the one for the, uh, it's called reserve points. It's for the uh the the dark players. They call it uh kind of like the dungeon master version of the, you know it's like they are so they will have to use uh use up points in order to spawn monsters, spawn traps, you know monsters traps and you know like activate powers and stuff like that. And uh we have more of this which actually is like uh you know all the various token for you know uh other flaming obstacles and you know it's like uh whether there's a door you know. Wow! Look at all the tokens. Look at that. So I'm sure I didn't really want to print this out on, you know, and then cut. Imagine cutting number of, uh, you know, I don't know, I can't even cut circulars. Let, let them print it for me, man. Right. Desert, yes, we have more deserts. Oh, well, this already fell out. Okay. So these are all like the, I suspect this will be what is called inside the map tower ones, uh, which actually is included in my pledge, fortunately. Uh, otherwise, it's a separate purchase. And these are all the uh, standees for the uh, monsters. So if you if you don't have that, uh, you will have to you know like print them out or something like that, or use the apps. Wow, you look look look. We have a uh, you know like awesome scorpion, which is like the bigger monster. So you must be a boss, you see. So yeah, uh, and then uh, I think some of these are the heroes. Kind of reminds you of uh, Gloomhaven, right? Doesn't it? I said Gloomhaven uh, heroes have. Uh, have miniatures so i didn't uh there's miniatures for this game as well i didn't buy the miniatures um which i didn't regret i think the standees are fantastic design you know look at the giants uh some of the the uh, skeleton warriors you know uh you know the guy with the axe and the guy with the bow so they are archers and you know like maybe skeleton barbarians they're like these are uh, rives or you know like undead so there's like 318 of them, you know, it's like... So I guess some of these must be heroes, I hope. You know, they don't look evil to me. And they're like, uh, also hybrids of uh, monsters that looks like uh, animals, uh, centaurs. So they're all sort of, uh, you know, like different fantasy creatures you will meet in this game. Uh, you know, if you can go through all the campaigns. You know, like dragons, uh, you know... There's even a cook here. Hmm, interesting. You know, like insects, lions, you know, crocodiles. You know, any game that has crocodiles in it is like kind of uh, 
Yeah, it's, oh man, look at this, look at this. That's a great white. You know, and uh, plenty of uh, beautiful creatures that, you know, you will meet. Although most of them might end up to be, you know, uh, on the wrong side, you know what I mean? They are like, you know, monsters that you will fight against. Wow, so this is printed in uh, reverse. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter because in that you're going to throw it away anyway. So, uh, you know. So the so the standees are like double sided. So in a way, you know, don't need to worry which side. You, know, you punch it out, you put them on the uh, standee stands, and then you know they they look just like mirror image on the both sides, which is actually pretty good. So that explains why the text is mirrored because I they probably just mirrored the it for the printing. And now uh, we have more bosses on this piece as well. So if you are to pay for this, uh, you know, for this campaign, uh, it's I think another nineteen euro dollars. Uh, which actually I think is worth it, you know, given that the you know the quality is pretty thick. Uh and it's printed double side, the printing is pretty good. You know. Yeah, wow, well. We have like more dragons, minotaur. This must be a giant, I guess. You know, sandy pits also, you know, always deadly, you know, nasty bikes and stuff. And uh we have more uh, standard size uh monsters. You know, some of them like you know, evil wizards, you know. This snow woman looks uh, looks nice, like almost uh, reminds me of a tinder grill kind of, uh, you know, vibes. But you know, the art on itself is really fantastic. And uh, you know, one thing I really like was that they actually, I think, prints the, uh, give credits to the uh, artist, you know, right on where he is. Uh, I don't know if this is the artist or this is the, you know, the guy of the character. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could be, it could be the character's, uh, but I thought I saw a copyright sign uh, there. It could be, it could be the artist. I don't know. Let me know, man. So, uh, so we come down to another uh, few things that we need to get, get it out with. Uh, so there's if there's a mystery two, there's obviously mystery one. Okay. So this comes with a standard, uh, standard. Um, it comes as a standard inside the core box. Okay. So as you can see, I uh, you know like, even for human kingdom, there are all sort of uh, different, different uh, classes and different monsters. So uh in the former clan there's like I uh, you know this folk people with uh which has a different different ability. So I guess some of these numbers are like you know for easy for you to find the the, the cast. So they are like pirates also, they are corsairs and uh vermins, you know, they are like Vermins really is like something that you know you have in Gloomhaven as well. So if you are not familiar with Gloomhaven. So they are like animals, aquatics, you know, they're like elephants and stuff, you know. You can fight hippo. You know, fight uh, orangutans. Uh, I don't sure it's orangutans, they, but this looks like gorilla. Yeah, this gorillas and uh, and then we have like uh, you know aquatics. They're you know, like uh, giant snakes, sea monsters. You know, down oh, yeah, this is your you know megalodon. You know, it's not even a shark. It's a prehistoric shark. You know, so plenty of uh, very very nice uh, monsters to go through, and then that's the mystery one. Okay. And the ma the the so-called manual, the rule book comes in two. So the we have a basic one. This is the basic rules. Okay, the the text. There's quite a lot of text. So it's uh no not for the faint of heart, but you know, this is a system worth diving into. And uh you know you have to spend time reading the rule book in a way, or you know watch a very detailed video. There is actually a very good scenario, uh, video I think that runs through page six of it. The is about thirty eight, maybe about. 38, 40 pages, you know, including the cover and everything for the basic rule And uh, we have a, you know, advanced rule This is not the basic. Obviously, uh, they, they probably didn't put the word advanced, but you know, we know it's advanced. So we have another beautiful map here. Okay, and uh, you know, it's like, this is where, you know, they talk about all the advanced rules and everything. And this is thick with a lot of artworks as well, you know, beautiful artworks. So consider that there are now some pages of artwork, you know, uh, don't be scared by number of pages. We have probably had to give them a bit of discount. It's about 125 pages here, you know, including the credits and you know. So all the illustrators uh given uh, due credits here. Okay. This is very nice of them. And you know, it's like with the acknowledgement and everything. So it's pretty good. Uh I really like support this project a lot. So you know it's like uh, so by the way, I also be going in for the this campaign, uh, but only in some additional stuff which I don't have. So this is the one of the uh, inspiration why I'm created this video in the first place is that uh, I want to first keep track of what I already have, 
as well as you know to keep you updated if you are if you have a previous backer like me on uh, you know the second campaign especially uh, then we know that what we already have and I'll talk about what we uh, should if you want to get so that we don't get any repeats you know and then we know what we are missing out what we are not so there are, we have player boards as well here so obviously uh, we have uh, like five sheets of them uh, you know two three four five yes i'm not one of the guys with a missing player sheet great so it's like you know it's like um i think this would this will suffice i mean but new play maps will even be better but this is cool enough you know you have the background here as well you know and uh, what we have here is this. Uh, this is like the play map. At first, I know I was wondering why the why we doesn't don't have the art on the the other side of the play map. This is like the bigger version of the map you saw in the book, I guess. Or is it a different part? I'm not sure. Okay, but uh, actually on the other side, what you have is actually uh, if you did not catch it now, but you can take a look at it. There's actually Greek here, and you can see a shape of shark. So this is actually like the open sea. You know, that's why we have we have that ship. You know, and everything, you know, just now you saw all the, uh, you know, it's, it goes perfectly here, I guess, uh, you know, and you have adventures at sea, fighting pirates, and you know, and all sort of, uh, you know, evil that can happen at sea. And then, you know, after you clear through all the stuff here, you, uh, that's not the end of it, because it's only like half, half the box. Uh, the other half of the box is actually concealed by this piece, which I think I intend to keep it in a way, I think uh, it helps balance the weight of the whole game. Um... I almost thought this was like a thank you note for, you know, like, oh, thanks for backing this. I don't know, Oaken Rams has that. Uh, but if there are five of them, uh, you know, they are not. So I guess they are save envelopes, you know, for uh, saving your games. Okay, so you can like, you know, continue. Uh, we have this thing that they call checkbook. Basically, it's for you to keep track of, uh, you know, your... I mean, it's another, it's another name for create a character sheet, I guess. So there are like, suppose, 50 sheets of that. So these are for the standees. Uh, obviously not 318 of them, you know, so you have to swap in and swap out as in when you're playing. We got uh, dice. Okay, so they, so if I didn't count wrong, let's count together. Uh, we have four black, four whites, and then uh, one special one with all the uh, special logo on it, which is like for the uh, dark player to roll to see, you know, if they can trigger traps and stuff. We have our coins. Uh, there are 10, I think there are 10 uh, silver ones and 10 gold ones. But obviously, um, if you're metal coins, you might like off to use them. So basically, uh, there are like a lot of uh, indentation here. I think it's uh, meant for you to keep uh, all these uh, individual components. And I think there's even space enough for to keep all the, uh, you know, this box in. Definitely, there's more than enough to keep a lot of stuff. And there are rows of stuff here, which... Uh, I think mine is a bit bent, uh, unfortunately. Because this is like, you know, it's just plastic. So I think uh, mine is kind of a bit damaged. Here, as you can see. Well, uh, I guess I will have to make do. I mean, I, I don't want to be like, you know, pesty to complain about everything. But, you know, mm, well, it's not perfect. But, you know, if it serves its purpose to keep whatever it's... Oh, actually, it's actually even broken here. You can see there's a hole there. So this, this part is really like broken. I think because of the weight, I guess. Well, uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave. Yeah. Okay. Let's just let's just you know move on. Yeah. Let's just move on. <laughs> okay. So we have like um, we have this. This is what I think is the Mayday Green size. If I'm not wrong, um, looks like it. So we have uh, six decks of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think uh, for the first edition, uh, there are more decks because there are some uh, Arata cards to replace. So they have reprinted some and then they realize there are, there are some cards that need to be patched. So so they are, so I, I can tell that there's even two colors here. So I don't know, uh, you know if they are like different type of cards. So you can see, right, some of the cards have different cards, different sides. So they, and because of the yellow, I guess it's because of the yellow, they ends up like, you know, standing out quite a bit. So I, I will know when I when I open this these decks, which I will because this is not just a purely unpacking uh, video. I would like to you know like show you guys. Anyway, I will need to do it because I want to like make sure that I have all the cards, make sure that I know I put all the dividers and I'll show you how I organize this. You know, even despite the broken uh, tray. And there's three three decks of this uh, smaller size, which I think is the uh, Mayday Blue, if I'm not wrong. 
Oh, so this is from Europe. This can't be Mayday Green. This has to be the Mayday Blue color uh, standard Euro size card, I suspect. But anyway, I, I, will, I will go and do that and then I'll let you know what the actual size is. Or you can just find out. But wow, look at this. This is really nice. The, you know, the back of the card, the, showing the shiny armor. And boy, do their leather armor looks good. It does, right? Yeah. This is not just plain leather. It looks pretty good. Uh, and then, you know, we have more of this and then our talismans of strength. Plus ones to the user's, uh, you know, uh, this symbol could be strength, I guess. Yeah, so you say it's strength, right? You know, so we have uh, three decks of this. So I suspect there are like some additional uh, space here so that you can sleeve them and then, you know, like still have enough space to keep them, I guess. I hope so. So, uh, so here we have... Uh, I'm going to cut it up, like, uh, I have to stop here because uh, I'm going to like show, do the unpack, do whatever I need to, uh, maybe even sleep them first before I come back, you know, and show you guys uh, what how I store this. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, since this is an intermission, you know, I could like, you know, push in some, uh, you know, uh, plead to see if you, you know, have anything to say about this, uh, leave it in the comments, especially since, you know, if you are going to be involved in the new campaign. Also, you know, smash the like, smash the subscribe. That's the least thing that I ask for, you know, nothing else. No Patreon, no donation, nothing. Um, and then, I uh, hope the video see you, uh, you know, back... In fact, you will just see me in the next second, but, you know, it's going to be like, you know, in real time, life, uh, you know, going to be like hours later at least, before the next part goes um, online. So, thanks for watching. For now, uh, I'll be back. And I'm back. So let's take a look how I organize uh, all the stuff that you know, comes with this uh, uh, Dungeon Universe list. So this is uh, the side of the box. Uh, so like this is on the top. Uh, you can see some, uh, uh, I really kind of like place, uh, determine how I wanted to place some of these things. So this is the um, the preferred uh, box uh, where they like, you know, it's like I'll just keep the cards in two piles. Uh, I've already un uh, opened them up. And uh, there's the small booklet that I'll keep on top. Um, I can show you some of the cards here, uh, you know, there's basically um, going to be some stacks of cards, uh, there's number 1 uh, to, I think 1 to, to 10 I think, yeah, and then uh, there are going to be like some, um, some, some stuff that's basically, you know, like, uh, you know, you get a chance to sort of like screw each other over, like, you know, suddenly some characters are reinforced by a new enemy that drive them forward. You know, this hero will be able to perform one extra action and uh, one extra move in exchange to lose one achievement points. So, uh, no, this is not so bad, at least, you know, like, uh, easy is um, give and take and so on. And uh, all of them have this uh, special back, you know, where you can tell that it's uh, from this deck. So that, you know, you won't be confused with the rest of the cards. Uh, I've decided not to sleeve the cards at the moment, you know, there's like a thousand of the cards. Uh, there's quite a lot to sleeve. So I basically split the deck into two uh, for this box. It just goes right on top, so it's like it's just barely a little bit over the uh, you know, it's not perfect, but you know, I gotta think of a better way if I want to like keep this uh, in a more proper way. So, uh, I have a I have this bag which doesn't come with the game, uh, this is for myself. Um, so, so the map tiles, right? I'll put a link to one of the uh, the link to the original Dungeon Universalis uh, first edition. Um, so that you can see what are the tiles you will expect to see because it's really a bit difficult to organize but um, for map tiles, um, it's actually a bit easier um, because for map tiles, uh, what you do is that uh, let me just open this bag I want to show you uh, some things on the back here sorry for the shaking cam, uh, you know, I'm hand-holding this uh. so you will actually see some, some of this stuff that uh, comes with the map tiles has a special uh, number somewhere uh, around the corner yep so there's this these numbers here okay so this is the numbers that uh, indicates uh, whether it's a a side b side this is a tile 90 okay so there's um, there is also then now this is a uh, no 19b and so on so the tiles are pretty pretty uh, nice looking uh, Oh, by the way, uh, I did need to mention that uh, your tiles will, will look like this. Mine has a card on it. I don't know why. It's like um, when a, when you first arrive, uh, it's really the uh, damage. So um, I'm going to try to ask for a replacement. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it. 
uh, it's kind of like really ruined the escape so there's a there's like a, you know you can see from here so uh, I think this other than the you know the plastic um, the plastic uh, underlay that's been damaged this is the only thing that I found that was damaged for my uh, for my stuff so by the way the, uh, even for the numbering the, I think there's one missing number I think uh, it's been missing for everybody, so you know, like, don't worry about it. You're not missing a tile. It's just that you know, the, they have skipped one number, and there are some others uh, tiles that comes in different shape, uh, which is a bit longer. Uh, so I kept them in this uh, in this bag so that you know you will go on the side. So it's supposed to like go on the side while this uh, goes flat on the top. Okay, with the uh, the squarish tiles that just like you know, go underneath this way, so that you know it doesn't uh, create an additional height over here. And um. All the rest of the books are all here. They are all the books here. I uh, you know, like very very thick amount of books. I uh, you know as well as the um, the player screen. I have uh, the play the player map. Okay, the this is the the map board. I think there's a player screen here as well. Uh, somewhere around, uh, you know, and as well as all the books here. So everything uh, goes <laughs> in this way. They are all same same size. A four. Uh, I already like you know uh, also kind of like sleeve and protected all the books uh, okay and uh, on the side I have the this box which is the um, the mystery cards and legendary encounters uh, which there's no way I can uh, really sleeve this and then still keep this in this shape so this is like I couldn't think of a better idea but you know but just keep it here for the moment and I kept this white sheet so that you know it's a, it acts as a separator between the, the top and the bottom. Uh, I have also there are more map tiles here. I have split the map tiles into two two stacks so that you know they um they act as a balance. So if the weight comes on the, it this way, uh, it doesn't get crushed at certain points down uh, on any particular area. And uh, yeah, so I'm a bit sorry. Um, my bad. The player screen is actually here because it's hard. So I want to keep the player screen here so that you can protect the card below as you can see the cards have very organized them uh, with the dividers which I'll go through them uh, shortly so here this um, this section is uh, just nice uh, you can keep all your safe sheet here or you can keep it this way you know whichever makes sense uh, the two uh, score score tracks I'll keep it here okay and uh, the chat books fits in here nicely and uh, there are I think more map tiles here which are about this size uh, this map tiles goes uh, here because they happen to be the right size right and uh, in a way that they also act as a protector to protect against all the stand, uh, standees focus. so the standees are the small ones I've organized it from uh, you know ascending order from here to here and then uh, followed by the medium one from here to here and all the way to so you can, as you can see there's no additional uh, places to keep anymore uh, I have a little bit of uh, mine this is dented and it's, uh, it's torn so um, it's not perfect but you know it does its job by still holding the thing here I think it would be pretty costly to ask them to replace this uh, I'm not sure if they could um, well if, if anybody from uh, you know Dunyun University uh, or no, um, or the company uh, let me see what let me just get the company's name right I don't, I don't want to mispronounce it uh, Ludic Dragon Games uh, see this uh, you know if you can get this replaced for me uh, it would be fantastic uh, but I'm not I'm not putting my my hopes up much because I think the form factor of this is rather big um, so the coins uh, get stuck in this uh, okay so before I talk about the coins so the coins get uh, you know put into this area, which actually you know as you can see because this damage right so there's like you know this uh, part that is the uh, bounce out so this whole part is kind of like a uh, crush uh, on the below side so the large tokens are uh, split them into two stacks here okay and the extra large uh, one goes all the way from the in the bottom uh, with the in a certain order and this is also done in a certain order so that you know it's kept this way uh, of course I could like keep it vertical I also thought about that but I uh, you know I think since it worked this way uh, it'll work this way and then I uh, you know the coins get uh, goes to the side somewhere around here keep things uh, you know not from moving too much and uh, here we have a big mess of stuff which is not well organized uh, but at least uh, I kept the this size uh, of all the map uh, components and modifiers you know where all the uh, things that's uh, lying like tables you know and all the stuff that's supposed to lie on the map 
this part is supposed to be I think just two places are supposed to like keep your dice and stuff which I haven't I'm, I didn't intend to keep it there yet so I just keep all the stand stands below of course um, I could keep the coins here you know I could keep the coins here but the coins has a has a purpose being here because it's like you know it pre wants to prevent the rest of the stuff from uh, like uh, jerking about you know, so that you will hold all this in space okay so uh, here uh, yes you can see I purposely um, put all the player tokens in one bag okay and then followed by the square the square size uh, map component uh, here this is also done uh, on purpose so that you know the cards doesn't slide all the way from you know, here to here to here so it doesn't give them too much space to slide uh, because I have kept something to prevent them from sliding similarly uh, I've done um, there, there are more components uh, for the maps which actually is uh, Yes, I split them in sizes. I'm not sure if that's the best way. Uh, do let me know if anybody who's like, you know, played this a lot more than me. Because, uh, so I kept them in size so that, you know, prevent them from moving and so on. Yep. Okay, so, um, so this is messy. Yes, I agree. It's not the most elegant thing that I've done. Uh, maybe this map's towels can go into here, I guess. But, uh, well, so far, uh, it's a bit too late for this video anyway. Uh, you know, so that's a good suggestion that I could give you guys. So let's take a look at uh, how I organize all the cards here. So there are plenty of uh, cards uh, to go. Let's go from the smaller cards. So uh, we follow the dividers actually. So they are like, so we have common objects. You look for these symbols uh, for the common objects, which actually will be fine at the back of the cards. Okay, so you see the cards here, uh, matching the symbols here. So just uh, keep them in order and make sure that you know, count all your cards, making sure that you're not missing any of them. Uh, same is to be said for weapons. So weapons comes in two types. Uh, there's a melee and the, the range, I suppose. And then, uh, you know, it's like uh, this, all the melee ones and uh, then this is the range one, as you can see. So you just keep it in that way. Same thing to be said for the, uh, this is the shield and armor. Okay, so I kept all the shield and armor here. And then uh, the special items is all here. The special items are here, all here. Okay, so I should like keep this the other way around though. Yep. Being a bit OCD about this, so I prefer to like, keep it this way. So that I have the, you know, the numbers all you know, running from the front to the back this way. And then um, these are the armors, which actually I should keep the other direction as well. So as you can see, um, it should run from um, check the numbers from here you know it's like see one out of 25 and so on and then you just have to uh, two out of 25 and so on until you have a 25 out of 25 and then uh, you know it's like you can tell them from the back this is like the uh, helmet uh, i think okay yep and then uh lastly we have here is uh the not lastly this is the natures these are all the three spells i think natures series uh the carbide and then uh we have um we have these academics and then um, I should flip this on the English side since I know I'm a more English English reading person you know. yep so we have this uh, you know scholar and leadership skills and then we have this uh, exploration so they all have their own individual backs so I uh, follow the symbols here matching the symbols on the back of the card so that this like pretty straightforward okay so this is a um, it just takes a while to recognize the symbols, but you know, it's like once you have them organized, it's organized this way. So it will be the same for the bigger cards here, as you can see, uh, you know. Okay, so um, what is in front here? Okay, so in front here, obviously, there are some things that are yeah, not. So this, uh, I'm not sure, is these are like treasure cards. So as you can see, um, we have all the bags that are uh, treasures. It would theoretically go into... Uh, I think one of them has a, has some sort of treasure logos there, which I think it might go into here because uh, you know it's treasure, right? But uh, I have no idea whether that is correct or not. So um, I leave this uh, stack of treasure cards right in front here, you know, since there's a divider. So I just kind of remind myself that you know, the treasure cards are all the way in front. And then uh, we have here is a quick reference, which is like all the rest of the card doesn't belong to anywhere. Which uh, before that will end up before in this stack, including uh, you know like all the uh, the the monster cards. I guess these are like all the uh, encounter cards here. So I don't know how often you use it. Maybe it's the random encounters uh, or not. I'm not sure. I have to really play through before I know. So quick reference are all those uh, you know 
So they also tells you lah. So not this is not a very great example, but you know, crit reference cards are like very obvious. You know, things that looks like this, things that are basically you know like have a lot of text, but they are not like you know. It tells you about how the how the games to be played this one. So there's a bunch of reference cards here. Okay. Then the next one, this is easier. You know, this is the this is the beast and mercenaries with the logos here. As you can see, this is the back of the cards. So you know have everything that's uh, related to the beast and the mercenaries. They will have uh, backs that corresponds to what you see there. So these are like whole stacks will be here. Okay, uh, and then followed by the rest uh, we have is like, um, these are the heroes, and hero cards are like easy to tell, you know. So hero cards, I have uh, two sets of them, uh, so one set will have the corresponding backs, you know, that looks like, you know, they are heroes, obviously, right. And then uh, the other side is, the, I think there is some sort of a uh, story and quest for each of the different heroes. So I kept all the heroes uh, stuff in one place. Uh, spells, uh, you won't find this symbol though on the on the cards though, but it comes in various symbols. So they are like uh, symbols that looks like they are magics, and then you know like so tell them from the side of the side of the of the cards. You know where you can see this uh, embroider, and then you know like it matches this embroider here. Okay, so this is the, all the spells, and then uh, we have two sets of cards here, which is like the furniture special. So one of them is the purple looking uh, tone and then the other one yeah, says the furniture distinguishedly. So we have here there's uh, all the furniture cards as you can see and then we have here there's all the uh, the bubble cards as I mentioned. Okay. So um, the next we have here is um, we have this um, so the two type of cards here one of them is the one with the eye and you know it looks like a banner and then the other one is like kind of a tear in the into the map. So these are all the campaign related cards. So one of them looks something like this, you know, anything that looks like it's a tear with a hole in the center goes here with the, you know, make sure that you also count the number, same thing, you know, it's like, and then we have a set that's an eye and then something below. So similarly to all the rest of the cards, uh, you know, you will see like there's, um, let me just take out one of these cards and then you can see that, you know, this is a uh, one out of uh, one one zero. So, you know, it's like, yeah, let's not spoil this because this is like, it's campaign related. <laughs> Uh, and then we have like the rest of the monsters which are you know it's like these are the dark players cards okay this is not the rest of the monsters these dark player cards so they have the back that looks like you know any of these three backs okay and then uh, you can tell them they are like you know they are distinguished this way uh, you know this you know you can tell yeah and lastly we have the race and classes race and classes are pretty obvious you know even if you take a look at it you will know what they are talking about so they have the distinct uh, background as well so as you can see this is indicated here you know these two it's just that uh, i'm not sure where does all these the rest of the encounters here that this goes in because this doesn't have a the back are slightly different from the what you see this looks this looks kind of like one of the decks here uh, but it's not exactly so yeah it looks like one of these decks right but it's not it's just half of this uh is a dragon the other half is not so uh i'm not sure if that means that you know both of them go into here but you know basically uh we have quite quite some of the creatures here you know like eagles uh, monkeys i wish i could like show you but you know i only have one hand you know, i need to do the flubbing here so also uh, sorry for a jer jerky camera angle but you know unboxing i find that it's the, it's the easiest done with uh, you know this format so here uh i i don't know it's the best i think i could do is put this here so that you know protects the stuff below uh, this fits right into the base and then this doesn't get into the way okay so i'm going to like i'm show you how i pack this whole thing back you know uh, before, as I end this, and then you know the five envelopes here. Envelopes does, doesn't get ten. So this, um, when you put this, make sure you place this on top. Okay, so there is no like it's over because this is supposed to go under under the uh, under the uh, height of this. So as you can tell, if you put it this way, it will act to protect hundred percent. You know, it's like you no. Know. And then uh, actually this is not perfect, so you know they might overlap a bit because uh, of the size. Okay, so. The overlap is a little bit, I have to admit this, okay? But uh, this will go uh, side to side and then they can't like, protect the whatever that's below that. And then uh, of course, once that is done, uh, I also kept this white piece which uh, you know, adds one more like layers. 
so that you know it can uh, it can spread the weight of whatever that goes uh, on top of this and followed by all the books uh, you know uh, big books are heavy so uh, slide the book to one side whichever side you prefer and then uh, slide this box uh, in because it will fit nicely you know between the books and everything this will have to go sideways unfortunately or you can go this way you know it's slightly below or here okay this long long uh, maps will go this way and then uh, we have the last it's all the big maps with the some of the so just flip it over make sure that the, you know the, the square ones goes goes into the you know, holes or whatever and then uh, there we have it um you know then we can close this whole thing in with the big box uh, of uh, over 10 kilos of uh, kickstarters more game now uh, it's like this um uh, universities so i hope you enjoyed this video um I hope all this effort has been worth it and you know definitely it's worth it for me I know I'm going to play this game so uh, this is a step that I need to go through and uh, unfortunately to say that it has taken longer than I uh, expected that's almost like a day for me organizing everything together with you no know, thousands of cards uh. imagine if I have to sleeve this uh, that's easily another uh, 12, 12 to 14 packs of cards uh, each I don't know is it each or, or is it total but you know it's like a lot of card sleeve and um, I'm not sure if they'll fit into the box after that so that's another thing that I need to take in consideration so um, give me some suggestion if you have uh, sleeved the cards and you know you have um, successful uh, how to store them you know if there's a uh, specific insert or something that you use but otherwise I know it's like um, it's a very sturdy box um, you know fantastic artworks and uh, the Kickstarter is also live uh, I'll put a link to the new Kickstarter and then you know I I'm also very interested in how the new Kickstarter will you know will fit into this box at all or do we need to have another box but until then uh, you know help me just by you know clicking the like and subscribe and uh, you know leave any comments you know it's like uh, you know discuss about uh, Dungeon Universities or you know what's on the Kickstarter with me uh, so I'll see you again next time um, hope you have a good day